<laughs> and the question goes like this. What could be done if the HDD of my computer is unable to access the data quickly as well as I wish to avoid any virus attack on my data if I have not installed an anti-virus software. Is the question heard well to all? Yes, sir. Quickly copy this. Question simply says ki bhai mere computer pe hard disk drive hai aur data bahut quickly access nahi hota hai and agar particular file pe virus infection hai to wo dusre pe attack na kare aur hamare paas koi bhi anti virus software nahi hai i want the answers from people so the answer that i have got is transfer the data which could be infected to a different location. Correct, children? Correct, children? And how it could be done? By creating segments on the HDD which is called as partitions. Correct, children? Children, correct? Any other answer? So I hope so, children. Ye answer sabko gaya. By the time people can answer something else as well. So, we have done hard drive, pe, C drive, D drive, E drive and all that partitions. If there is a virus infection C drive, pe hai, operating system will problem create a problem. And if there is a very strong virus, nahi hai, और उसकी कैपेबिलिटी दूसरे पार्टीशन पे जाने की नहीं है तो डी ड्राइव ई ड्राइव पे जो डेटा है वो इनफैक्ट नहीं होगा फॉर्मेट हम सी ड्राइव को करवा लेंगे ताकि डी और ई e का डेटा हमारा एकदम सेव रहे तो मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी इज दिस कि हमें सेगमेंट में पार्टिसिपेशन सॉरी पार्टीशन चाहिए इज दैट हर्ड वेल बाय ऑल तो ये समझ में आ गया ये समझ में आ गया पक्का सेकंडली चिल्ड्रन सेकंडली अगला आंसर क्या हो सकता है पहला तो समझ में आ गया मेरे क्वेश्चन का एक और पार्ट था कि ये जो डेटा है ये बड़ी देर से एक्सेस होता है तो हमें इसको क्विकली एक्सेसिबल बनाने के लिए क्या करना पड़ेगा अरे एसडीडी इंस्टॉल कर सकते हैं पैसे ज्यादा खर्च होंगे मनोज जी फॉर मेकिंग इट क्विकली एक्सेसिबल we need to defragment the HDD. जब data store होता है तो ऐसे से plate घूमती है तो वो 10 जगह जाके store हो जाता है जब आप file open करते हो पहले वो बटोर के लाता है 10 जगह से तो अगर आपने defragmentation कर दिया every week, every night, every 15 days तो अलग अलग clusters में जहाँ data saved है वो पकड़ के एक साथ ले आएगा तो accessibility quick हो जाएगी तो again आपको defragmentation करना पड़ेगा इसका मतलब है अलॉटमेंट ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक स्पेस फॉर सेम फाइल टाइप्स बात समझ में आई तो अगर आपने मान लीजिए वर्ड पे अपना सो so कॉल्ड कुछ टेक्स्ट लिखा है अपने कुछ नोट्स आपने बनाए पढ़ने के लिए आप 15 मिनट में उसकी टाइपिंग कंप्लीट करके बीच में 10 बार कंट्रोल एस कंट्रोल एस कर रहे हैं तो कंप्यूटर का हार्ड ड्राइव उसको 10 अलग अलग लोकेशंस पे सेव कर देगा व्हाट इट क्लियर आप जब तक डिफ्रैगमेंट नहीं करेंगे वो दूर दूर पड़ा हुआ है व्हेन सो एवर यू वुड ट्राई टू ओपन दैट फाइल वो 10 जगह से उसको इकट्ठा करके एक्सेस करके लाएगा इट विल टेक टाइम 
डी फ्रेगमेंटेशन में क्या होता है सेम टाइप ऑफ फाइल एक जगह आ जाती है अपने आप तो नेक्स्ट टाइम जब आप उसको रीओपन करेंगे तो ये प्रॉब्लम आपको नहीं आएगी कंप्यूटर की भाषा में एसएसडी में इसी कॉन्सेप्ट को ऑटो मोड पे डाल दिया गया है कि आपकी सारी फाइल बार बार साथ साथ डिफ्रेगमेंट होती रहती है लॉजिक समझ में आ गया तो एस एस डी इज वॉट बेसिकली एस एस डी एक हार्ड ड्राइव है जो सो कॉल्ड चिप के फॉर्म में है बेसिकली वो प्लेट के फॉर्म में नहीं है इसीलिए उसका डेटा एक्सेस बहुत फास्ट रहता है बात समझ में आगे चलो क्विकली पोट दिस फास्ट क्विकली दिस कॉम्पोजिशन इज अंडरस्टूड बाय ऑल सेम कॉम्पोजिशन इज अप्लाइड इन वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज अकाउंटेंसी फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट चिल्ड्रेन द रिकॉर्ड दैट वी मेंटेन वेर ट्रांजेक्शन आर रिकॉर्डेड इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर आई रिपीट चिल्ड्रेन ट्रांजेक्शन आर रिकॉर्डेड इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर the name of the book is what only those who have been doing homework regularly they would be able to answer baki dimag pe zor na dale it is known as sir john journal baki 2023 24 pe jab repeat karenge class 11 to batayenge it is known as journal so general if my journal constitutes more than 10000 transactions and i want to know only what is my cash receipt and payment can journal will be telling that to me very quickly sir ssd laga dijiye ya ssd kahan se lagegi bhai if i want to know only my banking transactions and i have 10000 transactions jisme banking ke 173 transactions the 173 will i be able to access them quickly simple as that If I have twenty nine transactions of credit purchases and I want to access them quickly, thirty four transaction of credit sale, will journal be able to give that information to me? So what we need to do, children, defragment करना पड़ेगा. We need to allot specific space. So how this specific space would be allotted? It would be allotted by doing what is called as children. sub division of journal so now journal gets divided into two parts one is called as subsidiary books i repeat children subsidiary books and other is called as journal proper so now we'll be preparing a diagram which would make this composition much 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 clear so i'm preparing the diagram children do draw the same so please put the heading in your copies sub division of journal so for the sake of convenience i have divided it in two parts children the first part will be called as journal proper sir why we call this as journal proper because now children journal is being maintained in a much proper way out that's why we call it as journal proper and next we have what is titled as children subsidiary books subsidiary books are divided in three classes children the first class is where we happen to record transactions related to cash second children we have a segment where we'll be recording transactions related to what is known as goods and third segment where we record transactions related to what is called as debts as a part of cbsc curriculum children ye debts wala composition is practically of least importance as of today children so when we talk about good children we prepare what is called as purchase book sales book 
purchase return book and sale return book related to debts we have bill receivable book and we have bills payable book be quick to this be quick and be quick moving it cash book further gets divided into two segments children first where we record what is called as all cash transactions i repeat children we record what is called as all cash transactions sunai padhi baat quickly put the solution quickly i repeat children we have the other one where we record certain small cash transactions they are called as petty cash transactions these are small transactions related to refreshment cleaning maintenance and all that children the book children which records all cash transactions is called as a cash book i repeat children it is called as a cash book and which records small cash transactions it is known as petty cash book quickly put this along yes sir so i happen to repeat the whole story again children this journal in all is not at all capable of recording and telling everything on time and quickly so for this what we did children subdivision second sabse important cheez thodi der mein aapko bataunga kyun hum subdivision kar rahe hain pehla to maine bata diya so as to allot specific space to the same file type to so all cash transactions of so called cash nature will appear in cash book and small cash transactions will appear in petty cash book goods sir related transactions will be appearing in purchase book sale book purchase return or sale return sir so we won't be putting purchase transaction sale transaction in cash book maine aisa bola hi nahi hai all cash transactions will appear in cash book so then what to write in these ones all children what is known as credit transactions please mention it here all credit transactions related to buying selling returning of goods children will appear in what is called as purchase goods on credit will be recorded in purchase book sale of goods on credit will be recorded in sales book goods which were bought on credit and returned mind it credit mein khareeda aur wapas kar diya wo purchase return mein jayega cash mein khareed ke agar wapas kiya hai to wo purchase return mein kabhi nahi aayega so these books which are titled as goods one children only constitute which type of buying selling credit so all goods which are bought on credit will appear in purchase book all goods which are sold on credit will appear in sales book all goods which were earlier bought or sold on credit now being returned will appear in purchase return and sale return apart from this children 
transactions relating to cash purchase of goods, cash sale of goods, asset bought for cash, asset became old and we sold for cash, expenses paid, income received, every cash transaction will appear where? In cash book. Logic is well understood. Now, if the businessman wants to know that what is the amount of credit purchases only, he just need to access purchase book. If he wants to know what is the date of credit sale only, he would access what? Sales book. Logic samaj mein aya ki nahi. Pakka? To ab businessman ke liye yes. ho jayega ko access karna. And this is the second most important point ki hum subdivision kyon karte hai. If we know there is some error in sales book, sales ke data mein error hai, we need to correct only kya pura journal chhatne ki zarurat hai aapko? Absolutely not. So it is just a tracking device. It is just a tracking device. Different type of transactions are recorded under different heads. Any doubts? Many doubts. Got it? Children heard this? Yes, one? sir. Chaliye. Moving ahead, children. Moving ahead. So here and after, people must be seeing this. Subdivision of journal, children. We prepare what is called as journal proper. Sir, what will record? Hoga? Sab to record ho in sab mein? No, children, no. Purchase book will record only credit purchase of goods. Cash book will record cash purchase of goods. Sales book will record credit sale of goods, whereas cash book will record cash sale of goods. Purchase return book will record return of those goods which were earlier bought from the creditor on credit. But if we have bought goods for cash and now they are being returned, it won't appear in purchase return. Will appear where? Sale return book will record that return of goods which were earlier sold to the debtor on credit. Agar apne cash mein goods beche hai, and then the customer comes and returns you, you will record it where children? In cash book. Understood this well? Sir, sab to record ho gaya. Nothing is left. Goods withdrawn for personal use, donated as charity, bad debts, rent account debit to rent outstanding, prepaid salary to salary. Understanding? Depreciation to furniture. Many transactions are still there which do not have the eligibility to be recorded in a subsidiary books where they would be going. They would be going in journal proper. Journal proper. Understood, people, why we call this as journal proper? Because now yes. it is maintained in a much proper manner. So, children, why we do subdivision? So that easily data access. And your journal book doesn't become too bulky and voluminous. Heard this well? So for understanding it. I have divided transactions in three categories. The first category is children, cash transaction. Second category is credit. And what's the third one? Logic is understood by all. So all yes. those activities where money is received or paid immediately, they are called as what? And children, they will appear in a book which is called as a cash book. I repeat, children, they'll appear in a book called as cash book. So cash book is generally of three types. What does it? Baat ki story hai. All those transactions related to credit buying and selling of goods only. I repeat, goods only. Asset credit mein becha. Sorry to say, yahan pe record nahi hoga. So if we have bought goods on credit, children, I repeat, goods on credit we'll be recording them in which book? Purchase book. Goods sold on credit will be appearing where? Sales book. Goods bought from the supplier on credit now being returned will appear where? Purchase return. Goods bought on credit, uh, sorry, sold on credit and now being returned back will appear where? Sir, cash buying and selling will appear where? Children, cash buying and selling will appear in a cash book. Logic is well understood by all. And yes. if you are buying assets on credit, children, it is not a cash transaction. 
Hence, it won't appear in cash book. If you are buying goods on credit, तो तो भाई purchase book में जाएगा. But if children assets are bought on credit, we'll record them in journal proper. If we are selling our old assets on cash, तो तो cash book में चला जाएगा. If it is sold on credit, where it will go? Journal proper. तो हर book transaction के accordingly बनाई गई है. Logic समझ में आ गया? तो जो आपने यहां पे डायग्राम देखा वील बी फॉलोइंग दिस डायग्राम एवरी टाइम चिल्ड्रन एवरी टाइम ऑल कैश ट्रांजैक्शंस विल अपीयर वेयर चिल्ड्रन क्रेडिट ट्रांजैक्शंस रिलेटेड टू गुड्स ओनली आई रिपीट गुड्स ओनली विल अपीयर इन दीज रिस्पेक्टिव बुक्स दिस नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ सिलेबस एनी मोर जो बचे बेचारे कहां जाएंगे तो आपको एक लॉजिक इस्तेमाल करना होगा और उस लॉजिक के लिए मैंने एक नोट आपको अभी दे दिया है फिर से दे दूंगा नॉट टू वरी एट ऑल सो ट्रांजैक्शंस रिलेटेड टू क्रेडिट परचेज ऑफ गुड्स विल अपीयर इन अ स्पेशल बुक टाइटल्ड एज परचेज बुक क्रेडिट सेल ऑफ गुड्स विल अपीयर इन सेल्स बुक परचेज रिटर्न ट्रांजैक्शंस आर गोइंग टू अपीयर इन परचेज रिटर्न बुक एंड सेल्स रिटर्न ट्रांजेक्शन आर गोइंग टू अपियर इन सेल रिटर्न सर वॉट अबाउट असेट्स बॉट और सोल्ड ऑन क्रेडिट they will appear in journal proper and cash ones would be appearing in cash book to abhi aapko i hope so ye classification samajh mein aa gaya chal raha hai pakka confirm yes. first column mein sabse pehle chal raha hu where it is written cash transactions it simply says transactions which involve immediate receipt and payment of money are known as cash transactions it could be capital contribution cash sale of goods collection from debtors cash sale of assets income received any transaction where money comes in immediately as well as any set of transactions where money goes out immediately drawings in cash payment to supplier credit purchase expense paid in cash purchase of assets in cash all this represents cash payments and they will appear where children cash book itni baat sabko samajh mein aa gayi pakka yes sir चलिए लेट्स कंटिन्यू फर्दर चलन 